Okay, so if you clicked on this video, then you're probably curious what There Is No Light 616 is all about. This game is a brutal action adventure game set in a dark underworld under the auspices of the mystical church of the Great Hand. Behold the majesty of the central station and test your fighting skills in the arena of death. Okay, so this is a demo of a full game called There Is No Light that will be coming out in the future. This has three full scale locations, a boss fight, and an arena mode in this we're just gonna be checking out the demo going through uh through these areas and see if we can make our way to the boss fight i'm not sure of the difficulty of this game but with a little bit of the teaser that i've seen for this game it looks like a very looks like a very fun game with different abilities a lot of bright colors around these abilities and i'm more i'm more curious about how the combat's going to play out based on what i've seen it looks like it's pretty action-packed with that said, let's get started. When the enemy starts to perform an attack, the special marker appears above his head. If this marker painted red, it means that you can interrupt his attack by dealing any damage to him. Try to interrupt his attack a few times by attacking him. To perform an attack, press X. <laughs> Besides the regular attacks, the hero can carry out spike attacks to shorten the distance between him and the enemy. <laughs> Overcome all soldiers by performing simple and stabbing attacks to dodge from enemies. Attacks use B. Okay. Every interactive object is surrounded by butterflies. To interact with an object, come close to it and press left trigger. Okay, so uh, butterflies. All I see is fire and the the dead people. Sun, it's you. I can't see. Come closer. No wonder people say you can't run forever. They came when everyone was asleep. Someone must have found out and told about this and told the solar core. No one survived. They slaughtered everyone in their sight. I'm running out of time, son. Listen. They took her along with your baby. Go to the central station. They want to give your child to the hand. Stop it. It's too late for me. Well, all right. That's unfortunate. I do see that chest over there. I'm not sure if we can actually get it. I don't think it's... Yeah, I don't think there's a way over there. I see a chest and instantly I'm just like, I need to get it. Uh, so it mentions butterflies when you, so you can interact with things. I'm not seeing anything over here, so maybe it's this way. Okay, yeah, I think these are the butterflies. We hit left trigger and then we go. Okay. So right away, the, uh, the art style, I love it. I love pixel art a lot. Skip dialogue, press left trigger or down to move the mouse cursor over the button to the hero's feet and click on it. Okay. I thought at least some of them would fight back. Come on, it's better than living in the barracks. Of course, the officer up with, came up with a pretty clever plan, huh? Hide the beacon in a barrel of wax? True, but I still don't understand how it works. It's the magic of the hand, as the church men said. Well, we don't, we don't need to know anything else. Magic? Well, isn't it illegal? After all, isn't it heresy? If it comes from the great hand, then it's perfectly legal. It's the rest of it that's dirty and forbidden. Oh. So, 
I'm not sure how my health refilled there, uh, but it did. So that's a thing. I heard a laugh and then my health refilled. Not sure what that what that was about, but I'm sure we'll find out soon. Okay, so we can break some of these things. Not sure if they'll actually give me anything. But I love the art style already. The music is ominous. So far, the combat seems like it's going to be something that's going to take some uh, some good timing. Okay, we can interact with this. Blue butterflies fly around all interactive objects. If red butterflies are flying around the object, this means that you're in a battle and interaction with this object is impossible. Okay. Ah, oh, they throw things. I kind of like the, the enemy health bars. They're kind of cool. can't do anything up there I'm just looking around seeing if there's anything interactable I'm not seeing any butterflies so i think we just carry on by attacking enemies or destroying the surroundings the hero accumulates rage when the rage bar is full the hero can use the weapon's ability to use the ability accumulate rage and press a Rage bar is full. Just look like a, an extra large hit. I'm seeing some weapons laying around. Don't think I can do much with them. Oh, little rats. I guess he's a little upset. I mean, understandable with what the circumstance is. You can build up rage by hitting things in the area, too. Interesting. Keep thinking I should have killed that guy after all. There was no time. In any case, when he wakes up, we will already be far from here. What if he decides to follow us? Then the tunnel will finish our work for us. That weakling would never make it to the station alive. Rude. Think they're talking about me? When dealing damage to the enemies with any ability, the hero accumulates the healing shard meter. If you deal damage with an ability when the scale is full, then a healing shard will fall out of the enemy. If you destroy it, the hero will receive one health point. ability just does is this like a basic attack but it does two damage instead of one not seeing the cure shard that they're talking about oh there it is there it is. I need to stop looking around like I'm going to find something. Clearly, I'm not going to right now. I'm in the tutorial, essentially. I will say the, the control using left trigger to use things is a little bit awkward for me. Right, 
nothing over here. Let's go up the stairs. All right, we got people. My boys went to the far corner today. The whole camp was destroyed. Imagine that. Oh, the merciful hand was nobody left alive. Not a single living soul. Even the old people were not spared. That's strange. This territory isn't far from the central station. Not many tunnel wanderers find their way here. What if the Lunar Order returned? Okay, for science? Oh, I actually can't attack in here. Okay. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Everyone's rushing to the central station, but the father doesn't let the unworthy in. But everyone wants a better life, so they still live nearby, and now we have to huddle in the crowded corridors. Everything's ready. The people are dead. Oh, my God. Great. What about the mother and the offspring? It's all under the core control. Nice work, child. We must deliver them to the central station immediately if we want to be in time for the ritual. And make sure there's no living soul left in that settlement. Finish off the wounded. Can I just... Just jump down here and fight them? Hold on. Hey. Hey, is that all for today? What are you doing here? This is no place for civilians. This is, in fact, a prohibited area. Boy, you better get out of here. Don't distract us from work. Let me get over here and fight these guys. Specifically, that guy with the axe. He looks pretty cool. Oh. This guy's very angry. He's very angry. All right, Central Station. Oh, here's one of these guys with the axe. I really enjoy the art of this game quite a bit. Brothers and sisters, come to the sanctu sanctuary. Today, we will pay tribute to our protector. On this day, we give up the chosen offsprings of men so that the Great Hand can take them. Up there, these children will help her in the fight against the predatory monsters that are so eager to break into th break through the gates and into our world. It's a great honor to give your child to protect humanity. Come in. The service will begin soon. Hmm. Today, my sister's daughter will also go to the Great Hand. It's such a great honor. We're talking like sacrifice stuff? This is weird. Of course, giving your child to the Hand may seem cruel to some. After all, this is your child. You carry it, you give birth to it. This is for everyone's good. Our children help the Great Hand to protect us from the mo Okay, I, I, I walked away. All right, let's continue on. Hmm. You're just kind of letting me in here, huh? Come on in. Take a seat in the sanctuary. Hurry up and turn your prayers to the defender of the human race. Many years ago, when people went underground, humanity suffered from hunger, disease, and all sorts of conflicts. The Great Hand saw the suffering of people and decided to pity them. The Great Hand decided to stand up for them. The Great Hand gave us wax, a part of itself that saved us from hunger and disease. The Great Hand has given us order and security by appointing the most worthy of, our, of man as our leader. Since then, the Great Father has been embodying the will of the Great Hand, and his brave solar core guarded our peaceful life. Praise the Great Hand. May our Great Father live forever. Okay, so they're a very devout bunch. Very devout. I don't know what just happened. This is all moving very quickly. Looks like we got beat up. One year later. Okay, you know, there were good people, murderers, rapists, marauders. You took them from us too soon. They could have hurt many more people. You? You're just breaking my heart. Okay, pull yourself together. Samity. Samity? Am I saying that right? 
Today is an important day. Well, Blondie, I hope that after a year of training, I managed to make a merciless genocide machine out of you. Oh, God. Because those are your skills you'll really need. <clears throat> Today is the day of the ritual, and all the fanatics of the hand will gather in the sanctuary again. So, I mean, you better hurry to Central Station before they start without you. I'm not going to put up with you for another year. Okay, so it looks like we tried to stop the ritual. Uh, we got punched a few times. Uh, left for dead and then this guy just kind of brings us back with some type of magical touch and then trains us for a year and here we are that just fast forwarded extremely quickly what's this uh, okay look at this guy Hey, not so fast. Did you think you could just slip right past old man Fanfury? You, of course, you have become stronger this year, but swing and sword isn't enough. This is a dangerous world, and Master Samadhi does not want to waste his time constantly resurrecting you. Therefore, you need to learn how to heal yourself with these plants. Otherwise, I won't let you any further. It's the Master's order. Okay, medkits fully restore the hero's health, but can only be used once. Press Y to use it. Okay. All right, I'm assuming that zero up there is uh, on the top left. How many that, you know, if we have one or not, it looks like that. I I would bet that's something that we could, like, get more of as we level up through the game and whatnot. It's all those creepy spiders down there, too. Where do you think you're going? Do you think you can just walk? You can walk through just like that? I don't want some heretic to find his way to the station like happened last year. Turn around now. You have no place in the sanctuary. Okay, so they're actually on the guard for someone like me this year. Have you ever considered moving further from the station? They say people have their own homes in the new Nimbus. So why would you need a home if you're dead? I'd rather be here. It's still safer to live near the central station, even if it's not great. Hmm. So people are feeling a little bit stuck in this area out of fear of dying. Things are moving pretty quick, but I feel like this is going to be pretty solid once we get into some uh, some more gameplay. All right, back at Central Station. Hey, Blondie, I'm here in this butterfly. So we are back in this insane asylum. I wish I could tear this place to the ground, or I would have infected everyone with bloodthirsty rage. Well, seems like I've been daydreaming. Remember this plan? You, want, you enter the sanctuary, you wait for the hand to descend, you make your way behind the altar and climb up. You find your child there, and you're done. Come on, don't let me down. Okay. Nothing to see here. Just making my way through. Talk to the NPC. Approach and press left trigger to respond in dialogue. Use the mouse cursor, navigation arrows on the keyboard, or buttons on the gamepad. I am using a, a gamepad myself, so... Hey, what have you got there? You wanted to sneak into Central Station with a sword? Uh, yep. Wait, what was that? What was I saying? Come on in. Did I just use the force on this guy? What just happened? <laughs> I hope we're not late. The checks at the station's entrance took longer than we thought. Okay. Just making my way in. Everything's fine. Brother in the course said the father was extremely concerned about safety this year. In the tunnels in all directions, guard posts were set up. They check everyone who comes in to see the ritual. And here I am with a sword. Oh, they increase security this time. We don't need another madman to try and disrupt the ritual again. Hey, it's me. Here to mess up the day again. He wants me to go over here. Yellow marker above the enemy's head means that you can't interrupt his attack with simple attacks. To interrupt such type of attack, use weapon special abilities. To use the ability, fill the rage. Fill the rage scale by performing attacks and press A. Ow.
Damn. Finding it difficult to fill the rage bar here. Alright, it seems pretty cool. Seems pretty cool. So I couldn't fill my rage bar there, unfortunately. It would only I could only get in two or three attacks depending on the moment, and then it would just kind of he would swing and force me away, so I'd have to just tank the damage, I think. And it wasn't worth it. It was better just like to back off and go in for another attack rather than actually break him. The name of the great hand, keep calm. Go home, may the great hand protect you. Tell me what you've seen. Did you see the one who sneaks in the sanctuary? Sorry, sir. It was very crowded and dark in the temple. I could only make out a silhouette. Tell him the truth, haven't seen anything else. Okay, you are of no use. Come get come on, get out of here. Go home. Don't interfere with our work. What is this gateway to the surface? All this time was here at the station? Why has the church never talked about it? Never heard of this gate before. Why was the church silent? I have to tell everyone about this. People need to know that they live near the gateway to the surface world. How can I sleep knowing that the monsters outside can get in here at any moment? So... Alright, sanctuary is closed to the public. May the... Per okay, yep. People go home in the name of the great hand. Alright. So I don't know what actually happened. Uh, I don't know if I actually defeated him, but he like grabbed my head and some colorful stuff came out of me and then I passed out and now we're just kind of going. What was that? Were you able to see? No, I didn't see anything. The whole plan has failed. The hand still has some brains left. I didn't foresee it. Looks like even a year of training was not enough. Now this creature is definitely not going down, which is bad. As soon as things went south, the hand sealed the gate with a special lock, which would not be so easy to open. This event did not go unnoticed. I found out that four keys were blown into different ends of the underground. These aren't the parts of that. These are the parts of you that the hand pulled out. She placed them inside extremely dangerous creatures that are unlikely to give them up just like that. Listen here, Blondie, I have a new plan. You go back there, you look for the four keepers of these keys, you'll have to shred them to pieces, and then you return to the what the hand pulled out, and then we open the gate and climb up. Now let's go. Just get in the mouth of the worm, it's no big deal. And yes, don't worry about the guards, I worked on their tiny brains, so no one can stop you. You can climb wherever, wherever you want. Alright, less words, more action, fly high, birdie. So, Mouth of the Worm, we're just gonna... Okay. And here we are. Oop. And here's your home, sweet home. I built and decorated with my caring hands. Well, I hypnotized a couple of simpletons from the station, but I personally gave them orders. And if you don't like something, then you can live on the street. Why doesn't anyone appreciate my efforts? I'm just so good. Sum it up. This is now your home. Through this room, you can quickly return to Central Station from almost anywhere in the underground. Make this place your home, and if something doesn't suit you, then I don't care. All right, fair enough. All right, you now have access to your inventory. Press the back button to open. We have a bestiary with nothing in it. Omen Mendacium Superbia. I don't know what any of that means. Now, Omen might be the name of my sword. 
I don't know what's going on either. I tried to find out from the guards, but they keep on shouting the orders and not much else. All right. All right, I can't go that way. Just looking around. It looks like it just wants me to go up again. Stay calm. Back off. The entrance to the station is closed for visitors. Oh. All right, then. Let's go this way. They're just questioning everyone, asking them what they saw in the sanctuary. Security was up, but we just kind of snuck behind the curtains and then got to the hand. And nothing going on over here. All right, what's this? Found several packs of bandages in the tunnels. I'll exchange them for a wax ration. All right, looks like maybe a side quest. Huh? Could exchange a lot for this sword. Oh, so you don't. So you don't know. Well, it's immediately obvious that you're not from here. Nimbus is not such a wealthy settlement, so people often exchange the necess necessary things. That's why we made a bulletin board here. Well, maybe not only for these purposes, of course, but mostly people use the board for this. You won't trade your sword, right? That's a shame. Well, what's, whatever. The choice is yours. Okay, so uh, we got to find a piece of wax, exchange an old kettle for a dress without holes, ask in the hut next to the wax tree. Okay. And then... I'll travel to the distant station in the frontier. If you want to keep company, come and see me a hut south of the well. All right. New Nimbus. Oh, wait, we can... Huh? First time in the Nimbus, huh? This is a relatively new sediment, albeit up with a long history. Huh? Place you were at is called New Nimbus, but once there was an old one, too. Rather, there was once just Nimbus, a settlement near the central station. Over time, it became more dangerous to live there. People kept disappearing, so the father decided to relocate the residents to a new place. Moreover, the war with the Lunar Order was in full swing and the Corps needed a base in the area. So as soon as the inhabitants found themselves in a new place, they immediately began to build fortifications and work for the sake of victory. Most of the inhabitants here are either war veterans or, th or their descendants, and the father converted the old place into a dump for cripples and old people. All right, a little bit of, a uh, little bit of lore. Nice. That guy's on the look for medicine. Um, can I get in here? No, this guy's blocking this, even though there's a guy over here looks like I'm supposed to talk to, or maybe we can get up on the train up there or something. It looks like we can potentially get up there if we can get this person out of the way here. Or it wants me to go this way. What do we got? Mr. Mister, how do you like our place? We dragged the boards from the tunnels ourselves. The guards cursed a lot, of course, but what can they do to us? They need to catch us first. You like what we've done with the place, right? Uh, sure. I knew it. At first, the boys thought it was a stupid idea, then they liked it, too. Now we have our own place, which no one knows about. Don't tell the adults about it. Okay. What's this? <laughs> By breaking the vessels of death and killing enemies, you get the essences of death. Essences are needed to learn skills and skills at checkpoints. Oh, okay. Well, we got one of those now. Once a traveler passed by here, a strange one, he said he got that he got here on his own, his own air, his own air something. He talked about all sorts of amazing places. Did you know that in the depot, there's a place called the Central Station? So there are spiders living there that steal faces. They say they even have their own village somewhere. Wish I could see it. 
Anything's better than Nimbus. Nothing interesting ever happens here. I'll leave this place when I grow up. Where to? Anywhere. Somewhere far away from here, I'll be looking for adventure. Sounds like a good time. So yeah, I'm not sure if that's something we were supposed to find or what, but I mean, we got it, so. That's a thing. Dear Victor, they say that you are a hero now, but I know you have always been. I hope that the hand will take care of your soul and your merits will not be forgotten. Just know that without you, my path has become dull and meaningless. Despite the words of the father, I can no longer bear this. Hmm. Looks like uh, people like leaving letters for their, their deceased friends and family. What is this thing? This is the wax tree? Looks like a wax tree to me. And we got on top of this one as well. Oh. Great hand, what is this? Don't get too close, it can be dangerous. Of course it's dangerous, but it's just waiting for someone to come closer. Someone call the guard, quick! Alright, looks like maybe a spider's in there. Uh, we just pulled something out of it. I'm not sure what, but... <laughs> I don't know what that was. A spider's toy? Well, I guess we'll have to keep an eye on the boards. Maybe we could trade that for something. Right, let's see. Let's go down this way. jump up here what is this press left or right bumper to switch weapons press right trigger to use the shield Ooh. okay Just trying these things out. This is a three hit combo. This has a two. This has a two, but slower. Let's try that one. We'll take that. See how these idiots got scared of that spider? I swear, a little more and they would run straight to the central station to ask Daddy to protect them. Sometimes you are so pathetic, and the kids have arranged a good place for themselves, huh? You should have kicked them out and take it. Ooh, I'd arrange everything perfectly. What do you mean, how? What do you need the sword for? You should have taken it in your hands and called it a day. So, so what if they're children? Are children immortal? Oh my god, this guy is just kind of sheer evil, huh? Um... Skill tree. Looks like it'll be used for fast travel. Add to the wish list. Okay. Guys, listen, if you have made it this far in the video, make sure you leave a like on it so that way it'll YouTube will put the video in front of more eyeballs for us. I really appreciate it. Alright, let's see here. Number of hits of the throne Mendesium by one. Okay. Oh, looks like that's the ability for it. Interesting. All 
right. I thought I got one of those things to spend, but I guess not. Maybe we have to find several because it looks like that bar is half full. All right, we got some combat on our hands. Come here. All right, this thing is pretty slow. Why did it change the weapon on me? Oh, that thing is just gone now? Oh, when you use it, it goes away and you have to bring it back. You have to wait for it to like charge up to come back. I see. That's a dead guard. Several dead guards. Okay, I saw that spot we could jump up. I'm going to check out over here. Okay. Or maybe I should go check up that spot before I go too far and forget about it. Not sure what I just found. An earthquake was recorded. Seismological services are not responding. Attempts to restore the power supply led to the burnout of the central relay. A voltage surge disabled the hermetic seal mechanism. An order was given to transfer the electricity supply from the ventilation turbines to the pressurized gates. There is no food left. This is the end. Yikes. I'm not sure what it was that I just picked up out of this little spot here. Yeah, I have no idea. So, so far I'm enjoying this game. I love the, uh, the music is ominous and it really fits, uh, the narrative of the game pretty well. I like that. Um, I love the, the, the art style. The, I, I love pixel graphics as a lot of you guys already know. It's a, it's a big thing for me. I love it. Uh, it looks like this, the, there is a bit of, uh, a lore to the game. A lot of people you can talk to, to gather more lore as you play through, which is cool all by itself. I really enjoy that idea. It really fills out an action RPG and doesn't make it feel dull. Gives it some type of life, which is always good. The only issue I'm really having with this overall is some of the controls. Using left trigger to activate things is a little awkward to me. Um, I don't know if I am alone in that regard or not, but all the same. All right, they came unexpectedly. They just attacked the guards like wild beasts. Then they rounded up the survivors for some kind of purification. None of the solar core survived. They were be begging for mercy, but no one listened to them. Ah, okay. So now that's filled up. Oh, but yeah, so far is so good. The only issue I have is some of the controls. I don't think it's game breaking by any means. It, it, you can adjust on the fly. It's really not bad. Just uh, an oddity for what for what it's worth. Doesn't seem too difficult so far. Taking care of all these fights. That was the most action packed fight I've had so far. Fighting four enemies simultaneously, and we didn't take any damage at all. So that's solid. Another fast or not another uh, fast travel thing, but 
a skill thing. Let's take that. Looks like when we dash, it'll do a quick hit. Okay, we did it. That wasn't bad at all. We took some hits there, but we ended up getting our health back and everything. We're good to go. We're good to go. That was cool. So the fights can be very fast paced, as you can see. It pays to dodge around a lot. Oh, we do have a shield as well. But it's like a split second, so I'm not sure if we're able to parry with it, if it is a parryable thing or what. Maybe I'll try in the next enemy I find. The father approved of the construction of the sarcophagus, but action must be taken quickly. Central Station Command prepares to transfer materials and manpower. The rest is up to you. As soon as we drive the order into their lair, work on the erection of the barrier. M m work on the erection of the barrier must begin immediately. Church masters predict that the construction of the primary layer should take no more than a week. Once the primary layer is ready, the order will have nowhere to go. Hmm. Alright, looks like a map of some kind. Not sure what... Is that a worm on the bottom left, maybe? Then I see... A crescent moon. Hmm. During the War of the Lunar Order, many people lost their beloved ones who were caught between two fires. Not only soldiers of the order, but ended up inside the sarcophagus, but also innocent people. We believe that they can still be saved. If you, if you want to help them, then let's talk to the, then let's talk to the guy in blue. He's got us all together. I didn't know him before. He came to our settlement and somehow he knew about my parents. He said they could be saved. There were already several people with him. I don't know how they had been avoiding the core. He's a tight-lipped guy. He says little about his past, but according to the rumors, he lost his entire family behind the sarcophagus. The Order kidnapped them and kept them locked up. He hoped that after the victory, the core soldiers would free them. But then they just locked them up with everyone else. It broke him. Hmm. The core has covered his tracks well. It's almost impossible to find anything useful here. They once had a temporary base here during the war with the Lunar Order. Who knows what secrets might have been hidden here. So sounds like uh, the Lunar Order and the Solar Core went at it for quite a while, and a lot of innocent people got caught up in the crossfire of it all. And of course, that just leaves everyone else in the middle without resources as well. Damn, where is it? Oh, it seems like we have a guest. People don't come here often. You're definitely not from Nimbus, I can tell by your eyes. Fate has brought you here for good reason. My people and I really need help. Every one of us has lost someone inside the sarcophagus. These are forbidden territories, I know. The church doesn't approve of such things, but we cannot forsake our, our loved ones. We believe they're still alive. We want you to go to the sarcophagus and set them free. Please don't tell the guards about this. They will make us lo look as heretics, although we just want to see our loved ones again. There's only one safe road leading to, sar to the sarcophagus. The Solar Corps paved it during the war. The secret path cannot be found without a map, but as you can see, everything is turned up here, turned upside down here. We could use an extra pair of hands, otherwise we'll be he stuck here until the end of times. 
The remains of the records are rather chaotic. Some of them say the map should be here, others that the map is, was hidden in the large hall further down the tunnel. I think you just start your search there and we can continue looking there. Moreover, I can hear strange rustles coming from that hall. Okay. I tried to resist, but Father's decision was adamant. In order to erect the sarcophagus without hindrance, it'll be necessary to divert the attention of the Order. The command orders to assemble a group of fighters who will enter the headquarters. Their task will be to hold back the forces of the enemy while the workers erect the primary bar barrier. Naturally, none of them should know about the fate prepared for them. Oh boy. Well... Another one of these. Looks like we can fast travel. That's pretty cool. I don't have any uh, capability of spending more skill points right now. So let's not worry about that. Let's continue down the hall. Let's go to the left. Okay, another page. got people throwing stuff at me. I had a feeling that the red barrels were going to blow up. I'm glad that I caught on to that. I didn't that time. Nice. Get some health back. We take that. Let me also take this. Thank you. Barrels are everywhere. What is this? Thing just randomly appeared. Okay, not sure what's going on there, but uh, it's a thing. All right, I need to heal up. There we go. Kind of hard to tell where they're gonna throw things. Oh, I just ran right into that, didn't I? Okay, get some health back. Oh my god.
All right, not bad. I would have liked to recover a little bit of health there, but. All right, this is kind of creepy. Stuff growing on the walls. Steel forest. Wait, hold on. Do I have a thing? I do. When using the ability Omen, after two swings of the sword, the hero summons thunder and deals damage around him. Uh, sure. Let's take it. Let's see if we can practice it somewhere. My God. Guys summoning dogs. Yep, just like that. Nice. Okay, so using those, uh, using the worm there, it does heal you, so that's good. Utilize that on the regular when we know they're nearby. Ah. Here's this bridge. Okay, nothing else here. some big damage to those guys right there. I got greedy for that. I need to heal. Unfortunate. fights are getting a little tougher they're uh layering enemies in such a way where i have to dodge attacks while also get my own swings in what is this maybe it's a checkpoint Does pretty good damage that uh thunder strike whenever something's around me it takes a lot of damage I look like a maybe a map I like what we saw earlier map of the path to the sarcophagus yep so I guess we have to bring this back Let's get up here and take these guys out. Rebound. Press the ability button after using any omen ability to bounce to the other side. 
energy wave using omen hold the ability button to charge and release a surge of energy hmm Each hit brings less rage? Why would you want to do that? Rage accumulated a mop upon taking damage. That could be good. Each omen hit brings more rage. That's a win. That's a win right there. Ow. died there that got very ugly very quickly all right i can't jump back up it looks like just will not work i was out of one health for a moment there it's getting very dark in this tunnel Strike does so much damage. I see another worm thing over there. What does this do for us, though? See that drawing up there of the hand? The hand that has hands. Very long arms. Brethren, warriors, the indestructible power of the great hand. Today we'll face our enemy face to face. Heretics, monsters, traitors. Their leader was once the best healer of the central station, a support and blood brother to our father. But he betrayed him by resorting to the for two forbidden practices. For his crimes on behalf of the Father and the Supreme Servant of the Church of the Great Hand, I sentence him and all who sided with him to death. It is you who will be honored today to bring this verdict into effect. Be persistent, do not fear death, and do not show pity to the enemy. The Hand will show you the way. Interesting. A little bit of a rally cry here. Alright, um... Yeah, rebound, energy wave. I kind of want to try out energy wave. Let's do it. Hmm. seem to be working. The ability button is A. I mean, I guess that, I'm, maybe that's it. Just holding down the attack button. I've not used that before until now, but I'm not sure. All 
All right, nothing there. Guess we just hop down here. Fallen champion, huh? Ow. Okay, here's a boss. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> okay. That guy just destroyed me. I was not ready for his uh, overwhelming damage there. I guess we try again. Ow. I'm dodging way too early on these attacks. Okay. We've got a fight on our hands, guys. I don't die at all until this very moment. Hold on. What's this in front of me that I didn't use? Uh, I'm not sure what that just did. I didn't realize I was going to be hit by that. Well, that was our best run yet. Got him down to about 60%. We're making progress. And the big thing is just focusing on the dodging. Ah. Oh, that was a bad time to heal, huh? ring is getting smaller when you get him down to a certain amount of health the ring shrinks a little bit he casts like a spell that brings it in the, the blue fire it stays there interesting Okay, so I need to stop dodging like at a angle. If I'm going to dodge, I need to go like straight through him because he has a pretty broad reach there. Not sure what this thing is, but we're just going to keep taking it every time we die. Thank you. 
Oh no! <laughs> That's tough. We will not give in. We actually landed a thunderbolt on him that did a ton of damage to him too that was great it's hard to build up rage but when you get the timing of the boss right it is insanely gratifying because once you have it there it'll stay there for a moment when you cap out the rage and then you get that freedom to get that big attack in that was excellent <laughs> that was excellent all right, that was gratifying. I'm happy that we did that. First boss down. Looks like this room has a lot going on. This tree seems to be leaking purple stuff. What is all this for? What good have I done? Only blood and death. I just wanted to save her, nothing else. It was all him. He made me. He made me do this. Oh, here's this guy. Hey, Blondie. Wouldn't you like to distract yourself from killing monsters in the dungeon by killing monsters in my arena? Come on, don't be shy. I promise you some real fun. You just need to walk through this door. Well, I don't want to do that right now, per se. Not right now, per se. So I thought that boss was going to take us more attempts than what we just gave it. I'm glad we got through there. I'm glad we got through there. With that said, guys, um, the thing did mention that there's only one demo and these paths are blocked. So either we have to do the arena to get through or that's the end of the demo. So let's check this out really quick. Hey, happy to welcome you to the Tavern of the Great Samity, situated right in the dimension of the Great Samity. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. A little further down the road, you, you'll find the arena of the Great Samity. Don't ask, I didn't pick the names. I'd offer you a drink, but I'm afraid the contents of these bottles will cause you horrible agony. Besides, Master Samity doesn't like to keep be kept waiting. Okay. Complete training to familiar, familiarize yourself with how each weapon works. Yeah, I really only used the uh, sword through a lot of that.
Oh, the gagging. Who's the wisest? Of course I'm the wisest. Who's the... Hmm, blondie, don't creep up on me like that ever again. Well, why did I summon you? Ah, that's right. It's time we train. It's time we get some meat on this bony mortal body. On today's menu, the Superbia Gloves. All right, Blondie, you got to remember that, that with the help of these gloves, you can deliver punches really fast. Because they're very light, obviously, try waving a greatsword at this speed. Superbia is the only weapon you can deliver three consequential blows with. You got to try. Just be careful not to hit me or I'll turn you into a piece of... Mice? What? The only weapon capable of a three-attack combo. All right. Careful, Blondie. If you hit too much, the gloves will overheat. When they overheat, you can release a wave of energy. These gloves will help will teleport you to the nearest lucky one who is unlucky enough to be in your way. Don't worry about it. Those near you will take one for the team. The rage bar fills up. Superbia overheats in a state of overheating. It is impossible to strike, but you can use an ability or change weapons. Superbia's ability deals three damage. After using the ability, Superbia will break and be unavailable for a while. And hence why there's that thing in the skill tree that makes so it takes more rage, uh, you know, less rage per hit. It makes sense now. <laughs> Use these gloves outside of combat, too. You can use their power to speed up your movements for a bit. Except for afterwards, you won't be able to use them for a while. You should try. Perhaps one of the, one of these might save your life. They don't have to do the dirty work of resurrecting you again. When holding the attack button, Superbia breaks and applies a haste buff. In this state, the hero gains a buff bonus to movement and attack speed. Oh, yeah. I don't have for the day. I'm bored and I can't look at you anymore. Class dismissed. Have a good weekend. Okay. What are you looking at, Blondie? Go on. Climb inside the worm. Okay, I'm going. All right, so that's pretty interesting. Didn't know the gloves could work like that. That's pretty cool. All right, next. Uh, let's do this one. Okay, learn how to get not to get punched in the face thanks to a shield. Listen here, you can block enemies' attacks with the Avaridia. Every blocked attack will increase the damage your abilities inflict. Wouldn't it be great? Wouldn't it be great if that was it? You could just stand there all day blocking the attacks. Unfortunately, if your shield blocks too many attacks, it will stun you for a while. So be careful or the underground monster will quickly shove a stick through your paralyzed body. And to make sure you train well, we'll have your our favorite jokester, Fanfury, help, uh, helping us. Let's not more punches. Come on, Blondie, defend yourself. And then hit Fanfury with your increased ability. When using Avaricia with the right trigger, the hero will is able to block any attack. Upon a successful blocking, the hero gains a charge. The damage of the next ability will be increased by the number of accumulated charges after their after which the number will be equal to zero when blocking an attack with a full charge scale the shield breaks and the hero is stunned for a short period of time oh What the heck? Damn. 
Okay. Okay, that one counted. So the way this works, it's like when you have that little red bar above the uh, rage bar, if you get hit while that's up, it stuns you for a moment. It's kind of weird. There we go. That was just like, see, that's it for today. I'm off to send. Okay, yep. Okay, we're leaving. Goodbye. Okay. Oh, ow. I guess we'll do the tutorial for this now. Not that we don't know how to do this stuff already, but... Come closer, rookies. Blondie, I'm talking to you. No one else is around. Today, we'll teach you how to use the Mendasium Greatsword. Go on, grab him. Just make sure not to drop it on your head. It's heavy. Well, it's heavy for you. Mendasium is a ginormous greatsword, and I bet it can slice a person in half with a single hit. But that's not even the coolest thing about it. Mendasium's abilities are the strongest of them all. As soon as you feel like you've garnered enough rage, you can't contain it any longer, just let it flow. And then you get to watch as your enemies inside splash around the walls. Of all the weapons, Mendasium's ability is the strongest. It deals four damage in a large area around the hero. Yeah, and then it breaks for a moment and we have to go back to it after it charges up again. It's a little slow, but it's pretty solid. You know what? Sometimes your face looks so ugly they don't even want to approach you. I bet many of your enemies feel the same exact way. But it's okay if they don't want to come close. You can just chuck them, chuck your sword at them. It'll come right back to you. But you know what's even cooler? Even when Mendasium is in midair, you can still use it to hit. If you do, it'll be sent flying again. This was... This was you can defeat... Oh, this way you can defeat your enemies without ever approaching them. A little bit of a typo there. When holding the attack button, the hero can throw Mendasium. The discarded sword damages enemies and the environment. Mendasium can be repulsed to increase damage. Whoops. Okay, so we just tap X again once it comes back to us and it goes out again. You know why I love this thing so much? It's as though someone made it for me. If you hit someone twice, Mendasium will place a bomb on them. You can use it to rip them into a million pieces. It sounds like something only I can think up. Healing damage with Mendasium attacks plants bombs on the enemies. When the bomb scale is filled up to two charges, it can be detonated with the ability of any weapon and cause two damage. Set up a bomb with Mendasium attack and explode it with the special ability A. <laughs> Yeah, you can, like, once you hit him twice with it, you see the charge fill up. A little yellow circle appears. And then boom. We're done with the class for the day. Okay. So that's pretty cool. It's, it's pretty slow, though. That's the only issue I take with it. It's pretty slow. wanted to check out that see if we could learn anything new out of the tutorials and we kind of did
I have no health. <laughs> so it kind of looks like the arena just kind of sends waves at you. I don't know if there's any actual progression to it. It just kind of sends things at you until you do you die, I think. I don't like these spitting spiders at all. Ah! Those larger spiders as well. Awful. Are these okay whoa that guy's cool there it is <laughs> so it looks like the arena is just kind of like endless enemies which is cool if you want to practice the combat and everything but okay, guys, I think that's uh, going to be it for me for the, the video. Looks like that's the extent of uh, there is no light 616. This is a demo to a full game in this same same vein that will be coming out at some point in the future. Uh, last I looked, there is no actual release date for it, so I'll be keeping my eyes for it. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like on it, and perhaps when the game comes out, we'll do a full-on playthrough of the whole thing. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I actually really enjoyed playing through this. This is solid. The combat's a good time. It's fast-paced. Uh, it's colorful, and it looks like there's a, a lot of potentially cool abilities going on with all these different weapons all the while. With that said, if you haven't already, make sure you leave a like on the video, so that way YouTube will put it in front of more eyeballs for us. I really appreciate it. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more content. I play a lot of video games, and I love sharing it with people from all over the world. We've been growing this channel pretty rapidly, and it's all because of you guys, you know, supporting it in the way that you have by watching the videos and liking and subscribing. With that said, guys, I'm out of here for now. Thank you so much for everything, and I will see you soon for more.